Dark Radiohead's music. It feels very English to me, and that that can can quite often lend things. As between the three of us, you know, Adam, Quinter, and myself, as we were making the decisions on the arrangements, and so you know, when you when you've got a mellotron to hand, I, I suppose that that lends your music a particular reference point as well. Weatherhouse proved to be an interesting title choice for the album. Its roots are in a charming, archaic device for gauging atmospheric conditions. A weatherhouse, it's a barometric device where you have two figures, either end of a connecting rod, and depending on, on what the weather's like, if it's sunny, one of the figures will come out. Uh, if it's, it becomes cloudy and rainy, then that figure will be forced back inside and the other figure comes out. They're very much in kind of European folk art. You think of kind of like little Bavarian houses. That image proved to be a fitting metaphor for Selway's emotionally turbulent album. For me, that, that was a really good metaphor for, for a relationship anyway, you know, where you, you have these very interconnected and interdependent characters, but they can't ever both be in the sun at the same time or it's just those very close relationships which become very competitive where the characters just kind of undermine each other so are we talking about your marriage or about radiohead neither <laughs> certainly not my marriage Speaking from the drum room in his home in England, Philip Salway professes to be happily married to his wife Kate, but he's tapped into the strains and conflicts that underpin many a relationship, if not his own. Sometimes I could leave it all there to make a brand new life. The opening song on the album, Coming Up for Air, seems to be about a man overcoming an emotionally tumultuous time. There's kind of a sense of affirmation in the song. This is just like, this is a good place to be. And this is a good point to, I suppose, jump off into rather more troubling topics uh, and emotions. Usually, Selway will start composing a song with some kind of generic click track for a beat. But in Coming Up For Air, a pulsing synthesizer sets the dark tone of the song. For Coming Up For Air, I wanted a, a, a click that had something a bit more about more character to it, to do that to. And that's where that kind of pulsing synth part came from. That was done on a drum machine called uh, The Tempest. There was something there that immediately I could respond to. Philip Salway is a bit elusive about his lyric inspirations, but a few hints emerge in the dedications. The Weatherhouse album is dedicated to Scott Johnson, the Radiohead drum technician who was killed when a stage collapsed on him in 2012. And the song, Don't Go Now, is subtitled Song for Cadian, after an English teenager killed in a bike accident. They were there, very much a part of my headspace when I was writing the record. I was very conscious of them. The song Don't Go Now, I mean, not specifically about Cadian or even Scott, but I mean, it touches on those feelings around grief that people go through, you know, there's, and that's a very particular point in, in that grief cycle where it's called um, a, a searching phase where you, you, you're convinced but because you desperately want their physical presence, that you see them or that you hear them. And for that kind of, for that moment, they feel very real to you and very close to you. That felt like an, an appropriate song to dedicate to Cadian. On his solo debut, Familial, Philip Solway jettisoned anything that would sound like Radiohead, including his drums. It was an album of soft, austere folk songs. But with Weatherhouse, Philip Solway has embraced his musical lineage and in the process made it something new on songs like Miles Away. It, it does tap into some more of, of, of my Radiohead elements in there, but that's kind of, I kind of, acknowledged, um, well, accepted on, on this record that those things were 
places that were okay to go to. Whereas on familial, if there were elements there that were sneaking, which I, I felt were Radiohead, you know, it was my first solo record, so I, I just didn't want to go there. Um, but I felt much more comfortable allowing those elements to come through if that's what was happening and what was working for the for the song as well. Hey. 